today, five books to boost your money mindset or how to think about money without being a jerk. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Thank you for joining me on the Mama Lorian Way in 30 Days of Money Tips, where I am talking about money and wealth building. And today, five books that I've read along my journey that were helpful in in certain ways. I talk a lot about building wealth because it's important for me to provide for my family. I started late in my life thinking about retirement because honestly, until I had my son at age 46, I figured I'd be okay. I'll just continue to work. I got married and had my first child when I was 46, no lie. So I had a lot of catching up to do to build our family nest egg. And in doing so, I read a lot. These books I particularly recommend because I think they put wealth creating, money building, making growing into a bigger picture. So the first one is Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Schwartz. Kind of golden nuggets out of this one is Think Big. When little people try to drive you down, don't fight them. Don't fight petty people. Don't fight petty battles. When you lack confidence, think bigger. Think enthusiastic. Grow the attitude, and I love this, is the other person is important. Make other people feel important because that is the most important thing to them. If you make them feel important, good stuff is going to come. Be enthusiastic, be alive, and get the big view. When you get the big view, you'll step back, and the trivial stuff will just disappear. Number two, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. And the subtitle of it is Mastering the Inner Game of Wealth. And his whole thing is like we have a money thermostat. Like we have trouble imagining ourselves at any other level of wealth than that temperature that we set probably when we were pretty young in our past history. So if we have a thermostat of there is no way I'll ever make anything but $50,000 a year that's what you'll make. You probably won't make any higher. You probably won't make any lower. That's your thermostat. And so when we come to possibility of making more, we stop and we come back to our thermostat. One golden nugget from this book is rich people believe that I create my life. More like life happens for me. Poor people believe that life happens to me. They don't have the power to create what they want because they are in a victim blaming mentality. So think what you will politically about it, but it is. Do you create your life or do you think life happens to you and you are a passive victim? Next book, recommended by Robert Kiyosaki, not personally, (laughs) The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. He's similar to this money mindset in his writing, but he calls that thermostat upper limit problem that we are trapped by our own glass ceilings. We're trapped because we believe somewhere we are victims and we complain and we blame and we sabotage ourselves if something happens to us that's good, that's gonna take us over our glass ceiling and we stay underneath what our upper limit is. We literally can sabotage ourselves in any kind of way. Say we get a big promotion at work, yay, and then we go home and have a fight with our spouse. Say something great happens, we're in a great, wonderful relationship, and we get into a car wreck. It's little insidious things that keep us from achieving our upper limit and working into our zone of genius where we are flowing creativity, we are happy, we are abundant in life and living in our best element of fulfillment. It's kind of like David Schwartz says, we have to think big. Happy Pocket Full of Money, number four, by David Cameron Jacandy, recommended by a great, successful affiliate marker named Cameron George. So this is kind of like the scientific version of Law of Attraction, of infinite wealth and abundance in the here and now. The Law of Attraction is that the universe is going to provide you with everything you need if you just open yourself up to the flow of the universe in and keep the flow going as it comes out. And it's most often based in gratitude practice, a feeling of awe and abundance. And when I was reading this book, and I wasn't real into the law of attraction, and I'm kind of into it, but something weird started happening. I started finding money on the ground. So my kid and I walking to school, we found $100. Then a couple weeks later, I was at a cafe. I'm walking by, walking out from the parking lot. 
found 20 bucks. I got funny things like I literally had money coming into my bank account. I was like, whoa, that's a nice little bonus. But this book, Happy, key thing, Happy Pocket Full of Money, it's about wealth, but more about abundance and joy that flows through you. You want it, you give it. You are you on luck. You want love, you give love. You want abundance, you give to charity maybe. It comes from gratitude and it's not about the money but when you are manifesting a feeling of abundance and happiness and joy life comes to you so i guess you have created that abundance and joy and life comes to you in in a miraculous ways and lastly the surrender experiment michael singer now michael singer is like oprah's friend tony robbins friend he became a multi multi millionaire only after he started a journey and this is his his journey into heavy duty meditation to silence that chitter chatter that chit chat the vritis the whirlpools of his mind He talks first about a deep spiritual awakening that leads him to live his life as a surrender experiment. It's kind of like going with the flow, not resisting. And he decided he would allow life to present him whatever it was going to present. And he would say, yes, I'll do it. It leads him along an amazing path, surrendering to the flow, and he just keeps getting rewarded for it. And he's rewarded financially for sure, but he's really rewarded with life satisfaction at an extraordinarily deep level. It's not about money. It's Money is a tool of exchange. A lot of times when we search for money, we're looking for a status bump. Like take away the attachment like ugh, to that status bump, and then we're free. Like All these books come back to give service, feel gratitude, live your life for others, big and bright in happiness. And then abundance naturally happens because of the joy that you're giving out. And then we become who we are to fulfill our abundance and be of service. And then we're truly wealthy. I'm Rebecca Thanks. 30 Days of Money Talk. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.